Hi, welcome to HowToStats.com. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to create value labels in SPSS. Now, very briefly, value labels are words or terms associated with numbers within a variable to facilitate interpretation. I'll give you an example. This variable here, called role level, has a number of numbers associated with it, which are categories of role. And if you were to analyze this, for example, through the frequencies option, uh, through a frequency table, uh, you would get results that are accurate but difficult to interpret unless you could memorize what these numbers were actually represented. Now, to actually add labels to these numbers, for example, to number one, if you somewhere in the documentation you'd have what that number should be, and in this case, I can tell you that it's a CEO level, and the number two is associated with chief financial officer, so that should be CFO. Well, to get those results in the output, you have to create value labels. And there are two ways of doing that. One of them is through the menu-driven approach, and, or the graphical user interface. And the other pro approach is the syntax. Now, it's true in every case you can use syntax to do something in SPSS. But for value labels, I think it's particularly important how to know how to do it through syntax, because it's very useful. First, I'll show you how to do it in the graphical user interface. You go th into, so if you're on data view, you got to click on variable view. And then click on values, and a window will come up. And you just have to type in the number associated with each uh, level. So number one is CEO, number two is CFO, and number three is divi division leader. And you could uh, just keep doing that until you went through all levels. Now, I'm not going to do that because I'm going to do it through the syntax instead. But what ha you can see what happens is that SPSS includes, uh, changes the uh, way it looks in that column because there's actually some labels associated with this. Uh, there are some values associated, uh, there are labels, sorry, associated with the values. Now, if I were to redo the analysis, descriptors, frequencies, we'll now actually be able to see in the output what uh, these categories are associated. So 6.4% 6 .4 for CEO, 2.5% for CFO, and division leaders 14.8%. Now that works and that's fine, but there are times where you want to be able to save your value labels, especially when you have really large uh, labels. For example, country if you're dealing with an international data set, you're going to want to be able to uh, save your value label because you might want to apply it to another data set. Now, to do that, you're going to File, New, Syntax, and all you have to write is Value Labels, and then the name of the variable, which is Role Level, and then the first number, and then the label associated with that, CEO and then put the, um, bracket, uh, the um, quotation around that, and then single quotation, and then the number two is associated with CFO, number three associated with uh, division leader, number four associated with manager, five associated with project manager, six employee and seven or nine rather is other two numbers are skipped so nine is other and then a, a period and then you can run that and it will also create the value labels and we can see them here once you've actually executed the uh, value labels they'll show up in the window in the variable view now you could save this uh, syntax file and then reapply it to a future data sets that have the same variable. And as I mentioned, when you have a large number of value labels, uh, it becomes tiresome to have to input that. If it's only gender, it's quick. It's male one, uh, female two, if that's what your codes are. But for larger ones, it's quite uh, quite extensive and time consuming. Uh, so you can just go and file and then save this as a syntax file and save it somewhere you can remember and then reuse it again. So that's value labels. Very useful really consider using the syntax file for that one. Thanks for listening.